we never come here. Oh, too sticky. It's very beautiful, though. All the swampy trees. I knew you'd like it. Bone, bone, bone. Got it. Tiger! Ugh, watch the fur. It's a big one. A little help, please? Not in that mud. Uh, sorry. I'll help. So we will. Hold on to each other. Uh, what kind of a bone is that? It's the largest bone I've ever seen. And I'm going to dig in. Wait, tiger. First, let's find out what kind of bone this is. Whoever it was, they must have drank a lot of milk. Uh, why milk? Because milk is full of calcium. And that's what bones are made of. Kids drink milk to make strong bones. But whose bone is this? Perhaps it's a Monkey King bone. I think it's bigger than a monkey's bone. How do you know? You haven't seen my bones. Good idea, Queen. Thank you. What idea? Let's see what our bones look like. You'd be surprised how many there are. How can we see inside our bones? Apu can magic an x-ray. I had to get my arm x-rayed once. Read my mind, Apu, and you'll see how it works. Okay, everybody stand in front of me. Those are my bones? You're amazing, Apu. We can each see our whole skeletal system. See how so much is the same, even though we're different animals. We all have skulls and spines and ribs. You have arms, Nina, and we just have legs, but they're still kind of the same with one big bone, a joint and then two smaller bones connected to our feet or hands. Funny, my paw looks a little bit like your hand. Hands and feet have the most bones. Look at me, my bones can dance. If we didn't have our skeletal system, we'd just be a blob of blood and tissue. Here it is. Humans have 206 bones, 106 of them in our hands and feet. How many bones does an elephant have? Let's see, 140, and your trunk doesn't have a bone. No wonder it's so bendy. Tigers, at 432. I had no idea I was so full of bones. And on that note, I'm going to chew on this big one. No, we still don't know what it is. It's too big to be a giraffe bone. It's longer than my longest leg bone. It's not an elephant bone. How can you tell? Elephants get very big. I can sense it. So what other animal in the forest is that big? Wait a minute. This bone looks old, doesn't it? And it was stuck deep in that mud pit. You know what I think? That bone is very dirty. I think this could be a dinosaur bone, and there are more bones in there. We'll have to ask a paleontologist. So I can't chew on it? No, we're going to have to contact the museum. <sighs> You're right, Nina. This is a dinosaur bone, and there's more in that mud pit. More bones. But not for you, Tiger. This is a great find. Your dinosaur is a cousin to the Gigantoraptor. That sounds big. Very big. Imagine that dinosaur used to live around here. You wouldn't have been king then, king. So thank you, Nina and Tiger, for telling us about this amazing discovery. Poor Tiger. He wanted to chew on that bone really bad. Oh, we have a special gift for the dog who discovered the dinosaur. That 
That beats an old bone any day. <laughs> we dare to believe that we can.